We heard it first, above the shouts of the coolies and the dying huff and hiss of steam from the engine, a rising and directionless mechanical presence among the wooded peaks. We peered and craned our necks, Thomas Goodhart no less than the lowliest of coolies, and then suddenly the noise had a source as a wide pair of brightly painted red and white wings shot from behind a hill and swept in our direction. It dropped so low above the train station I could see the distinctive corrugation of its siding, although even its elegant shape identified it as a product of the German Junkers Company, building passenger aeroplanes now that potential warplanes were forbidden to them. This one wagged its long wings over our heads in passing. It flew on south for a minute or so, before rising sharply into a high turn, then dropping down to come back at us. Children went scurrying, not, as I thought, in terror, but to slap and shove a pair of cows from a stretch of nearby road. As soon as the beasts had been encouraged from the track, the aeroplane aimed itself at the roadway, touched down lightly, and taxied up in our direction.